Oh, hey guys, Tilla here, the SOS, just taking some selfies. And you know, this reminds me of a new scam that you should know about. And it's from Chase, as in the bank. But uh, it's not really Chase, it's a bunch of fishermen, otherwise known as criminals, and they're trying to get your information again. Now this uh, phishing scam is a little bit different than what you may have seen before. It's because most uh, phishing scams, you know, you get an email and it has a link, and you click on the link and it takes you to some sort of fake page and they would just want you to enter, a, you know, maybe your Netflix username and password, maybe a credit card number, that kind of thing. This one is different. And it's because they want you not only to enter in a credit card number, but they want you to, uh, or a username and password, but they want you to uh, send your uh, send a picture of yourself, a selfie, and even a copy of your driver's license to be able to get back in. Pretty scary, right? Let me tell you how the scam works. So first thing, an email comes in, and it wants you to uh, you know go ahead and access your Chase.com account. Now that's not good. Uh, so if you click on that link, it's going to take you to obviously a compromised website where it's going to, it looks very convincing as you can see, and it's going to uh, ask you for a username and password. And of course you enter it in and because it's fake, it's not going to know it's the real thing. It's going to say, hey, we have a problem accessing your account. Uh, please uh, upload a selfie picture and uh, perhaps a copy of your driver's license and then we'll let you back in. And of course, that's when the criminals harvest your information and then use it for nefarious purposes. Now, you're probably wondering what possible reason could they want your uh, driver's license or, or photo ID, uh, what, what could they possibly use this for? Now, scammers use this for, for pretty scary stuff and it really comes down to uh, some legitimate organizations do need a photo ID in order to open an account with them. An example would be a uh, Bitcoin or a cryptocurrency account. So being able to buy and sell goods on the dark web all through cryptocurrency and they can open up account in your name and use it as if they were you. Pretty bad, huh? Uh, how about gambling sites? Those also require photo ID. And sometimes even uh, any sort of money transferring type of services, those require photo ID. And uh, just in general, you want to keep the, the number of images of you uh, to a minimum, especially when it involves an identification card. So uh, be sure to not do that if you're ever asked for it online. Anyways, hopefully these uh, this tips and uh, this new uh, scam that's going around uh, doesn't catch you by surprise. And if you do uh, come across something unusual in your inbox and you want us to have a look, feel free to send it on over. You know how to reach us. Anyways, guys, have a good day. Aloha.